All right, everybody. We're talking about TNA. It is 11 17 2016. Of course, that is November 17th, 2016. I'm joined by, as usual, Mullins, Malin. We're talking TNA today. What, what? Wow. Um, for something that, like, I was pretty hyped about Death Count Council, everything else about the show just kind of was it down kind of dragged me down a little bit like i, mean, I said i i feel like i literally watched a blur of a two-hour show brandy Rhodes and mass and rain squash and um uh, Mar- uh sienna and maria right or sienna, sienna and, that and laurel uh, yeah laura that, i didn't care about that um not that it was horrible but it just Wow, it just, just it wasn't. It just didn't feel like there was anything that was going to continue because of it. Sadly, um, Mahablishira and uh, not Baron Dax, the other, uh, but still Baraka. Baraka. Uh, they had a decent match, but I cared more about what happened after the match than their entire match, and that's just to see Al Snow and Mahablishira um beat the heck out of Baron Dax and Bro Basaka. Or his name is, and then they're and then Josh Matthews is like the mega powers have united, and I'm like, <laughs> that was horrible. Like that was way overselling. On the <laughs> stupid uh, now, if I was to fantasy book this, I would have Grado, you know, Grado get attacked, and Mahablishira, and then this went um That's when I would assign uh, the tribunal a new leader. Because I think they, I think they still need a manager. I don't think they're ready to go out there without a manager, sadly. Um, and so I think they still need a manager, even if it's not uh, Al Snow. But Al Snow does help. They need a, they're not good talkers. Uh, exactly for trying to do the French gimmick or whatever. But Al Snow, they're, they're um, real. They're really good in the whole in the in the ring, but yeah. they need somebody that can be their mouth. Yeah, face. yeah. And Al Snow, he's definitely good as a comedic piece for Mahabalishir and Grado. So I think that does full circle there. Um, Jesse Goddard's and Aaron Rex, I did not care for that either. I don't know what is going on with like some of these matches. I didn't really care for. It's because they're pushing the same stuff week after week after week, and when you only well, have three pay per view, this is the downfall in the three pay per view system that they run. Yeah, because then it's like you, for four months you got to try to push something up to be the next big thing. Or I mean, they do do like every couple weeks they have something gimmicky, and it's like this this next week is going to be the Thanksgiving week, and it's like how is that going to factor into Amnesia Hardy? Because I let's be honest, I would have preferred Broken Matt Hardy for Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. than Amnesia Hardy, and um, he's I, gonna bake a pumpkin pie. I mean, it's kind of sad. <laughs> that we have amnesia hardy now because it's like thanksgiving's coming up and it you know i would have loved to see him christmas but but i i think if they do run the amnesia hardy gimmick to christmas i think that will be fun to see him you know open up a gift and it be something gimmicky and uh he'll be like i don't know what this is because i think that'd be really interesting for um you know just comedy christmas purposes i mean i just want to see a hearty christmas all right let's let's put it out there i think that'll be fun even if it's not broken matt hardy i think amnesia hardy will still do good but um i don't know how to how amnesia hardy will factor into you know thanksgiving because i think broken matt hardy would have a really great thanksgiving you know my belly boxes but her donkey yeah (laughs) but um (laughs) yeah uh let's see what else well we started off the show with eddie edwards getting attacked by dcc and then jeff hardy came out brother nero i call him brother nero he's an awesome new theme song by the way that's probably a great highlight of the show he had a great theme song uh you know remix to his classify myself is obsolete and then like rock it's like rock pop version of his uh new theme song or whatnot uh but he comes in saves him and beats him up and then as we've talked about uh, in these past couple weeks that they've written off Billy Corgan, you know, Aiden O'Shea is like, let me show you back here where the boss is at. And he's like, not the camera guys, though, because clearly Billy Corgan's not back here. So, and... Clearly Billy Corgan's not here. It's very sad. Clearly, it's, it's just he's very, not in the it's, building. It's very sad that they they got everything, you know, to do with them off TV. Just, it really bums me out as a person. Um, but... 
Uh, yeah, so Jeff, Jeff Hardy and Eddie Edwards got to face DCC. Spoiler alert, in case you know how these three-on-two things work. Yeah, th- the three guys definitely beat the crap out of the two guys. Um, their attire, I like it. I was kind of worried about what they would look like as a team with their attire. I like it, though. It all it all goes good. Um, uh, Eddie Kingston, or just Kingston as they're calling him. They're just calling him Kingston. Uh, please don't wear the What's bandana. The one please don't wear one that word uh, I mean, it's Bram, James Storm, Kingston, but I don't know. It makes them look more. Then you have Rosemary, that. Jade, yeah, Ali. Uh, what else do we have going on tonight? Uh, oh yeah, we had that match where it was EC3, Trevor Lee, Mike Bennett, Lashley. and Lashley, and the one guy who you thought was not going to win it won it. And then, the, then like the very next minute, he was like, "You know what, Eli Drake? I hate you. I'm putting up my contendership," and it's. <sighs> So next, so next week, um, if Eli Drake loses, he can never talk again. If EC3 loses, he's not number one contender. Eli Drake, please. I think that's going to be pretty funny, honestly. Win this. I think it'll, it'll be a screw finish or something stupid. Uh, another downside, uh, no Cody Rhodes. You got Brandy Rhodes there. What the heck? What the, what, what's no the, Cody. What's the point of, like... All right, well... I don't really know what to think exactly, about that. Exactly, exactly. Uh, Brandy so, without Cody is kind of like what happened when you... when It's kind of like what happens when you break up a tag team and you try to push the person that no one cared for. Jesse Goddard's and Robbie. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, oh, no, they, they, didn't, they didn't break up the bromance. Great as the new honorary bromance. <laughs> Great but uh Great a bit of a bit of a downy downer week for uh tna and uh that's saying a lot because i mean last couple months i've really loved tna of course they've had some bumps and i think this is probably just another bump you know where we're trying to recover from you know at this time this is when billy corgan is gonna fall off the mat so you know what i mean um yeah so I think they're just kind of recovering from that because I, I think I think you know your moans were saying that uh, they didn't have too much for Billy Corgan, but if you look in the past couple of weeks, you know him and Ali were having a lot of interaction. Um, him and Aiden O'Shea, I mean, it really hurts Aiden O'Shea to be honest. Oh, so, the the love triangle. Yeah, with uh, Ali, Laurel Van Ness, Ali and Braxton, Braxton. Sutter. Uh, by the way, uh, next week, um, then we have like a, 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 a another X Gold match or something. Yes. Yeah, I don't um, think we even got yeah, any X Division at all this week. So some. Just thumbs, besides Trevor Lee, no. Thumbs down there. Thumbs down there. All right, you always have to have X Division, in my opinion. X Division's a good hype. They they good hype. Um. It's just because there wasn't too much. It gets the much... crowd going. It gets the crowd into it. We which had that a... was part of the issue with the crowd tonight is they weren't into it. We had a decent. We had a decent first segment. Everything after that was kind of just staggering, and then the main event was pretty. I like the main event. I'll I'll definitely you know give thumbs up that they ended um in a good manner. Uh, if you look at the rest of the show, um especially with Death Count Council winning. Because I think that was great for business. Uh, awkward thumbs down for Jeff Hardy wearing his obsolete attire when Broken Matt Hardy's not there, but then he came out wearing just you know jeans and beating up people. So it, it's just things don't really add up. So uh, other than that, well, uh, Malin, what would you give TNA tonight? I would give it honestly a five. Five. Uh, Mullins, what would you give it? I- um, and not a six. Six. I'm gonna be. I'm sorry, TNA. This is definitely like a four and a half. It uh, it, there just wasn't really. There was some stuff to progress to the next week and progress story, but I think from the standpoint of the big stories, um, nothing really much for the Hardys. Sadly, uh, for the Death Count Council great those guys please don't let them fall off like decay has fallen off sadly um brandy Rhodes and gail or uh, brandy Rhodes and the whole do 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 um maria canales bennett not really much there sadly i don't think there's really any storytelling it's just a wrestling match sadly no real heat afterwards um also do 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 
Gail Kim and Rosemary, I don't think I remember much happening there, so, yeah, not really much happened, uh, so sorry, not really, uh, an eventful week to say it for TNA, um, hopefully next week, I think next week will definitely be a changer, because we have a, we have some bigger stuff next week, and we have, um, a hearty, right, thing, a hearty Thanksgiving. Really we have a hearty Thanksgiving. So that'll be interesting. That's what I'm looking forward That's, for. A hearty Thanksgiving. Yeah, so between that and more Death Count Council, really looking forward to it. Uh, Decay, please do more than just Gail Kim. Please. Uh, fade away. Because I find myself is obsolete. See you next week. See you next week. Yeah. Ah. <laughs>